welcome back to my channel my name is valeria and today i have a review slash january wrap up of what i read um so yeah let's get started as usual if you like this kind of content feel free to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like the video but let me show you what i have here today so uh, i just read the first four books of the black witch chronicles and let me tell you i really really liked it so obviously the first book is the black witch which i got for whatever reason a signed copy i wasn't planning on it but that's what i got so the story of how i came across this chronicles this books it's kind of funny uh last september uh it was my birthday and my husband notes knows that i like um fantasy books and my favorite color is purple so he just went into barnes and novel and got me a purple fantasy book that's literally all he did but what he didn't know is that he got me the fourth book of the chronicles so it's the demon tide that's what the book that he got me so i was like well i kind of need the other three to start reading you know and that's how i came across this book um so let me tell you about the story i guess it goes around um lauren gartner she's the main character and it starts uh because she is the granddaughter of this the black witch um and you know the black witch was a very powerful mage uh, or witch uh, who saved their people the garnerians i think that's how it says um during the war so and now her granddaughter looks exactly like her and the story goes around her when she start when she goes to away from her hometown uh to university where she meets a lot of different kind of people so basically this book has a lot of fantasy in it right you have magic you have the lupines or i think that's how it's pronounced you know the werewolves um you have dryads you have the fae you have elves right you have all those creatures um so it, it's a really fantasy focused book and of course the story develops as lauren uh, learns about her history learns about the source of power and you know how she can or I guess it's more so so she realizes what's going on around her. That's what this first book is based on. I don't want to give too much of the story away. So um, yeah, and then this book, something I really, really enjoy when it comes to fantasy books is maps. I really appreciate having a map because of course all of these lands are foreign to me. You know, they're not real. So having a map is always very useful. So you can see here they have Garneria. I think that's what it's called. That's the name of the main country. And then she goes to university in Verpatia, Verpatia. Anyways, that's the story here. And then the second book is The Shadow One. The Shadow One. So these two books, wait, is this the second book or is it The Iron Flower? Hold on a minute. Let me double check for you. Anyways, uh, the first two books are mainly from uh, Lauren's point of view. So you follow her on her journey. Um, sorry. So yes, it was the Iron Flower. That's the second book. So Black Witch, the Iron Flower. They're mainly from Lauren's point of view, and there's not really time in between. This book literally ends, and then when it's it starts right where this one left off so you know very interesting i would say every fantasy book at the very beginning it's kind of boring because it's developing the whole world and that's what happened here for the first few chapters i started this book back in december but i i didn't read that much in december just because of the holidays but once i continue reading it picked up really quickly i finished it in a few days and then luckily i had the next one and again, I finished this one in less than a week because it was very interesting. And then we get to the third book. Now it changes here a little bit. Of course, I don't want to give up 
the actual story. But I just want to mention that here we have several points of view. Um, so from her friends, her family members, whatever, we have several points of view. So there's, I would say, less time moving forward, right? Because we are seeing the story from different points of view, we'll, what's happening to the different characters. Um, and then, of course, the last one here. It's not the last one. <laughs> This is the sad part. I was reading this book thinking this is where the story ends because I didn't do any research about the books. I just started reading it. I really liked it and I continued reading it until I was like halfway through the fourth book and I was like, well, wait a minute, this, is, this cannot end there. There's too much going on and a lot to, you know, still needs to, a lot that still needs to happen for the story to have a reasonable ending so i did a quick google search i don't wanna i don't like google searching because then you get spoilers but i was like the uh black witch chronicles is it gonna have a fifth book or whatever i search and appear and yes i was right there is a fifth book coming out and funny story i'm actually filming this today on february 6th and today they're gonna release the new cover of the fifth and i think final book of the series so I've, I've been on Instagram all day checking for that and hopefully I get it. It seems like it's going to be greenish and it's going to be called the Dryad Storm. The Dryad Storm. Uh, so, and it's coming out, I think, in November, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can check from the Instagram post really quickly. Oh, it asked me to log in. Anyways, I think it comes out either in November or December. So I definitely cannot wait. This is probably a chronicle series whatever you want to call it that is going to stay with me for a long time it was really good unexpected because i didn't know anything about them until my husband bought me this one um last september so but now i'm of course following the author um there's two prequels actually um so i definitely want to read that before i read the last book um just to complete the you know the series and then i definitely will recommend this author i don't think she has other books at the moment i think this is her debuted i should check these things before i talk to you guys <laughs> but anyways um so yeah i definitely recommend this book uh it was very interesting you need to like fantasy a lot though because there's literally nothing normal right there's no regular human being in this books every character is a different species per se um so you know that's what it is and you have to like fantasy a lot and you have to have that imagination because you have to be thinking on okay this person is this they kind of have this ability and they have th that ability and so on and so forth but yes <laughs> that's what i wanted to share i really like them as you can see these books are thick all of them are seven or 600 pages and above um i believe what the author said said is that the last one is also going to be about that long which i kind of expected because there's still a lot there's still a lot that needs to happen um i guess the only con that i would say about this series and this is more so personal preference is that you know i kind of like when the characters develop throughout the story and yes the character the main character is developing um getting more experience getting more mature uh, throughout the story but i feel like it could be a little faster maybe or i feel like there's still a little bit of that annoying <laughs> i don't want to say annoying but i feel like she could grow up a little more and hopefully i see that on the last book and that that's literally my only con um none of these books none of these stories felt like you know it was filling um i don't know how to say it none of it felt extra all of it makes sense all the story um you know it's kind of, it makes sense <laughs> let's just put it that way it makes sense it's not like i don't know if it's okay to use this example but like the shadow hunter series right uh i feel like from the main the main books i forget what they're called in english 
but like the second and the fifth book to me were like ah, it could have been better this is just a little bit extra story we could have skipped it right that's that's why i felt reading those books but this one's so i'm like okay this is this is working this is working for me um the different points of view came at the right time right if it was only the main main um character then i would be like oh well yeah so you know that's that's the feeling i'm getting from these stories it was so excited it's kind of hard to go into an, a different book knowing that i'm not finished here like i almost want to pause everything until i read the last book but of course i'm reading um something else now but yes that was what i read in january please take a look at the first book see if you like it uh, i think it's a good series i don't understand why people are not talking um about this series a little more uh, on instagram or you know on the internet pretty much but yes oh wait a minute it seems like the it seems like the cover has been just dropped okay i'll take a look at that after i finish the video here and as usual let me show you my book of the month for next month or this month i guess february this month i got only one book <laughs> my tbr just keeps growing so i just i just got one book i also got a book from barnes and noble so yeah anyways this month i got Georgie All Alone. Georgie All Alone. It's a rom-com. Uh, I've been into those a lot lately. And um, I think I need something funny and quick after reading this whole series. But yeah, this is my um, February book of the month. I don't know when I'm going to read it because I'm just reading actually this Kiss Her Once For Me. Which I got it on back on December. It's kind of like a Christmas story. Um, but yeah. That's what I'm reading. I don't have any series to read at the moment. I guess I do have one, but I'm, I don't think I'll start them anytime soon. And then another series that I'm really, really wanting to read is the Akatar series. Like I really, really want to read them. And I know um, there's another series. I forgot what they're called from Sarah J. Mass. I do want to wait until that one is completed to buy it so that's usually what i do i actually wait until the series are completed to buy them this one kind of came across so it's fine um and then what else oh yeah yeah cassandra claire she just uh released the last hour book the last one i forget the name sorry <laughs> you know what i'm talking about though uh, so I'm waiting for the book set to be released. I believe it's going to be released in May. So once the book set is available, I'll buy the book set just because I like to have it that way. Um, all the same. You know, I did the same for the Dark Artifices, Artifices, <laughs> however you pronounce it in English. But yes, um, so those are my to be bought in the future series, but that I really want to read this year. So hopefully I get to those. If you already read those, let me know what you thought. Don't spoil me. I try not to spoil for people. <laughs> so please don't tell me any spoilers. But yes, um, I'll read you in the comments and hopefully you like this video and let me know what else will be fun to read. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Oh, actually, before I say bye, I want to show you my t-shirt. That I sell you can always visit my website I said some bookish stuff that I always like to share here on my youtube channel as well but yes um, that now that's all and I'll see you next time bye bye